right, so we have now finally completed the combination shape integration into the BCS network. And in the viewport, you can see the left head, which uh, do not feature the BCS uh, combination system, whereas on the right one, we have uh, created a lot of combination shapes uh, for uh, major facial expression. Right. So let's see the crucial difference between these two. As you can see, I'm going to just uh, try to move the brow controller, and you can immediately see the shapes. So the one on the left is a little bit too harsh and pinchy. Uh, one on the right is it's getting much more beautiful shapes. As you can see, the brow lining increases thanks to the combination shapes. If I bring it down, you can see. And uh, I can just go ahead and seamlessly move this uh, user interface to uh, create these nice facial expression. Now, since we are using a joystick-based facial expression control, uh, it's much more predictable shape and easier for the animators and we can come up with nice and uh, easy uh, integration of the combinations right so as for the eyes we currently do not have any combination shapes there but for the cheek you can immediately see the difference here as well so if I start moving these so you can see uh, you know some extreme shapes on the left okay if I start moving these controllers together with the nose, you will see the, you will so notice some uh, immediate difference. So here you can see when I bring it up, so you can see uh, like uh, a lot of creasing there, a lot of uh, a destruction on the facial uh, muscle and shape and facial expression. Whereas on the right one, it's much more relaxed and much more realistic, and something that is appealing and something with uh, which looks uh, believable to the eyes. Right, so. There you go. Now, if I just go ahead and start uh, combining these shapes, like uh, the, for the mouth, for instance, you can see uh, if I start moving in this, you can see uh, there is some drastic facial changes there as well. So there is an extreme shape there for the stretch opening, right? You can see when I start moving it up, like jaw open and a stretching. There you can see it's totally breaking the uh, structure of the face not looking very nice whereas in this one it's much more appealing to the eyes thanks again to those combination shapes you can see there is another difference as well right? so if I move them all together you can see it's looking much better now if I start selecting all of these controllers right, and start moving these all of these controllers together for instance the brows and everything thanks to the joystick based mechanism you can see that uh, the facial combination on the right looks uh, much more pleasing to the eyes whereas on the left you can see that uh, it's a total destruction of the face doesn't look very nice it looks uh, demonic and something which is not quite believable <laughs> you know so uh, talking about these shapes uh, you can see that we have also included these in the smile shapes and uh, wide shapes uh, narrow right and if I bring them together with our mouth shapes as well, you can see that uh, there's some quite difference there as well, since it's looking much better here than on the left side as well. Now again, our controllers feature these attributes as well, like like some extreme shapes for like puckering of the lips, and you can see that it now works seamlessly, uh, looks much more beautiful. Right? You can see the immediate difference there as well. Right? So for instance, for the smile as well, if I just go ahead and uh, raise the dimple, you can see there's a dimple shape. And if I start moving it up and down, right? So there's some tweaking on the facial as well. And if I start opening the mouth and also closing this down, you know, you can see some of those differences in there as well, right? So let's bring these controls down. And there's ba that's basically it. You know, like uh, the blends of combination tool, uh, the system has helped us so much with uh, like uh, trying to keep the shapes intact and the face is looking pretty, uh, you know, very expressive and easier for control for the animators. Now these combination shapes can, uh, you know, it depends on the sort you're working on or the complexity of the rig you're working on. It can, it can be a combination of two shapes, three shapes, four shapes, or any number of shapes. So again, it's a lot of time and sculpting and uh, thanks to the BCS tool set it's very easy and uh, simple to connect and uh, gives you a very intuitive result okay so just to show you the BCS network here we can see that uh, we have these uh, being the primary facial expression here the weights all these action units based shapes that we have followed throughout this course based on the facial action coding system and where 
we have created these uh, data points uh, for the combination shapes. Like for instance, the combination of the action unit one and two, giving you a different shape. All right, and uh, you can see there are there is a uh, there is at least about 50, 60 different shapes here, including the data points. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, basically, you will need now need to go ahead and uh, work on your assignment, like uh, trying to fine tune the facial shapes, uh, bring in those combination shapes. Feel free to experiment with these shapes. All right and uh, include more shapes, uh, be more creative that is, like uh, as a rigger we need to be technical as well as creative and uh, you know you get, you should get working with some of your sculpting talent as well. So it's better for you to like cooperate or uh, coordinate with a modeling artist or a sculpting artist uh, and, uh, to create this facial expression. Right? Again the best reference that you can find to sculpt this face is your own face, trying to look at your own face at a mirror, maybe a video cam, will help you out uh, sculpting these shapes and uh, yeah the details comes from reference so as long as you stick with reference your rig is going to look really really nice all right